So in this short video, I'll just introduce a couple of special matrices. And the first one is about the zero matrix. So it is quite easy to define. It basically means all the entries are zero. So for example, I can easily give you um, the zero matrix of two different sizes. And the fact is that it serves as the row of zero, kind of like uh, what you see when you add two numbers together, right? So basically, for example, I put a short note here in red color. If you have um, some typical numbers, and the zero has the row that it never change the number when you add this number to zero, right? So it never changed that. And um, the zero matrix here uh, basically serve the same row, but we are looking at the matrix addition, right? So I put it here. So uh, in terms of matrix equation, you are having is um, when you add any matrix M, uh, which is has having the same size as the zero matrix when you add them, um, it never changed uh, the original given matrix M. And I think it's quite obvious when you add the two matrices, you're adding them entry by entry, right? So uh, because the zero matrix has zero entry in every spot, so we don't expect the matrix M to be changed. And the second important special matrix is called identity. For the identity matrix, um, the size has to be fixed at N times N in the sense that the number of row is the same as the number of column in the sense that um, the size is actually a square. So some people call such a matrix square matrix. Well, identity matrix basically means you can see one in the diagonal from the top left to the bottom right, but uh, of the diagonal, all the entries are zeros. So I'll give you some examples here. So you see, I just randomly give you two examples here. And uh, for two by two, um, the identity matrix is going to be like this. And for three by three matrix, the identity matrix is going to be like this. You see on the diagonal, all the numbers are one, but off the diagonals, all the numbers are zeros. And the special thing about such an identity matrix is that it serves the row of one in terms of matrix multiplication. So what do I mean by that? Uh, please recall the special property of the number one in numbers. One has a property that no matter which number is multiplied to one, it's never changed the number, right? If you recall that. So now the identity matrix has the same property, but uh, we are talking about the matrix multiplication. For example, I'm basically saying that when you do the matrix multiplication, it's not changing the matrix M you have, or you can do it the other way. It's just not changing that. And um, you can try some examples yourself and you'll see what I mean here. And now, we make a final note to this short video. The fact is that matrix multiplication in general is not commutative. Not commutative means uh, AB is not the same as BA. But um, this case is the general case, but uh, specifically if you choose one of the matrix to be the identity, right? And um, this fact actually is satisfied because I is like one. As I said, I serve as one. So uh, it never changed the matrix, which is multiplied to the identity. So uh, you get M anyway. But um, this one is a special case. Uh, in general, if you are choosing AB to be some non-identity, you'd easily get the fact that AB is not the same as BA. And that's the end of this video.